Billy on AI from CR874. CR874 extract on AI, pages 15, 20. If the humankind does not detach itself from its pseudo-thinking of its very confused and general belief, and becomes more sensible. If the still existing opportunity is not perceived. To finally see. Understand and judge everything according to the rightness. Then it will not be able to avoid taking the consequences, which will inexorably lead into misery and unfortune, thus to the most serious crisis of its existence. This is because the technology of artificial intelligence will impinge on the history of the humankind in such a way for which the beginning has already taken place, that in the future it will influence the comprehension of logic as well as the sense of intellect and rationality in such a negative wise, that the human being will thus unlearn all the values of life within themselves. Even now, he or she is already criminally disregarding reality to such an extent that he or she is withering away in his or her belief-laden pseudo-thinking and in his or her religious pseudo-thoughts and modes of action that is driven by AI, which will become much worse in the future than it already is at the present time due to the directing of the constantly ever-evolving technology. Artificial intelligence, which is already rapidly and dangerously emergent for human beings, will dominate and subjugate him or her in the future with such gay vault that he or she will have to learn to fight for his or her selfhood, of which he or she is not yet aware, but rather only when it is too late to free himself or herself from the rule of AI without a fight, once it is openly directed against human beings. Now, in order to be able to better integrate this and its meaning into our understanding, it helps to take a look at the fact that the humankind has developed everything all too fast in terms of technology and artificial intelligence and has allowed itself to be taken in by it. As a result, the human being is already dominated by it today and can no longer accomplish anything without calling for it and using it to help in this or that respect. We old timers and our parents, as well as our ancestors, of course, were still strongly connected with nature and sometimes even partially integrated into it, so to speak, because we were still working in it or with it. We had earned our daily bread all these many years through her and with her and the whole environment which we often had to confront fiercely with hard work. But we were satisfied, and very few of us had any imaginations, nor did our ancestors, that everything and the entire life would change in the future to such an extent that practically everything old would be consigned to oblivion. This in the sense that as a result of the very rapid development, new things would be brought up to date and updated to the latest state of progress, as is happening today in our time, and is suitable, modern, new, novel, newfangled, and contemporary, and is described as in keeping with the times and up-to-date and cutting edge. Well, we were endowed with many capabilities. But then in the new time, new talents were found in us by dint of development, which brought forth new cognitive capabilities and revolutionized us in such a wise in these capabilities that we were able to adapt to the new time. This, while later generations moved on from the old and aspired to completely different modes of life and live in those life modes today, without even thinking of what we prepared for them in terms of all the necessities of life. As a result of our efforts, the Neolithic or first emergence of the productive nature of the economy came into being, which has unfortunately contributed to the overpopulation over the years, since this has inevitably led to more and more life security as a result of life becoming continuously easier and the advances in medicine, and hence, therefore, also to a greater desire to have offspring and thus also to fulfilling the desire to have children. Furthermore, as a result of our efforts, also the social coexistence, the modernization of agriculture, the garden centers, our nurseries, and with that again, the nutrition, as well as the entire food industry, as also the factories of all kinds and thus the industrial revolution, but also mechanization and standardization were brought into being. As a result, more and more sports sprung up for human beings and these quickly became commercialized 
to which human beings often fell prey to a fanatical sports madness, as a result of which real self-activity and the self-development fell by the wayside. On the other hand, many exercise apparatuses were inevitably devised to strengthen the body and muscles, etc., while at the same time the development of technology progressed and developed in such a way that human beings became dependent on it. However, this was followed in the same step by the digital revolution, which led to the development of television and, to date, the internet and devices for exploring as well as controlling the nerves and sensory organs, and now also artificial intelligence, in short AI, which is already beginning to dominate the human being without them being aware of it. However, the first steps towards AI were already being developed secretly in America in the mid-1980s and were secretly deployed in 1988. AI also means that many human beings become unemployed, which consequently leads to an increase in criminality and crime, as well as to animosity and hatred among human beings, but also to war, unsatisfaction, and to the further increase in overpopulation and the total destruction and elimination of otherwise already impaired natural areas. This will also be accompanied by the extinction of many species and kinds of fauna and flora, which will far exceed the current annual extinction of around 60,000 species and kinds of animals, other creatures and other self-propelled life forms, as well as of the plant world from the lowest mold to moss and grass, right up to the most gigantic trees. The humankind will be dominated by artificial intelligence and its new concept and will break away from all previously natural boundaries. And the overpopulation will begin to curse at itself for not containing itself and also letting the artificial intelligence rule. The personal physical performance of human beings will decline more and more, and attempts will be made to replace it by locomotor systems, just as all and everything will be driven by mechanical devices and machines. Human power will no longer be in demand, and the increasingly scarce fields will be harvested by electronic designs of AI, which will feed the excessive overpopulation at least as long as AI can still be directed by human beings and does not yet become autonomous. This human kind of Earth, now numbering almost 10,000 million, is sliding into a future that will be directed and governed by AI to its great detriment, in which human beings will no longer be able to speak of their own manual labor or self-actuated brain work, or of their own muscular and nervous activity. When in the past, human beings worked and the majority of them could still read and write, in the end, everything will thus be reversed again. So just as it was before the advent of modern technology and as a result of the rapid and uncontrolled development, artificial intelligence then also emerged, which will inevitably take the helm. What has been evident for some years now is that hardly any human being can do without a cell phone. That is to say, a handheld telephone by which important and generally irrelevant and senseless conversations, that is to say chatter, are conducted and thereby time is simply killed. If I now turn to the digital revolution, and specifically to artificial intelligence, then it should be explained that this mainly refers to the technical infrastructure of human cognitive capabilities, which at present is still being replaced by computer technology and by the use of countless apparatuses systems and machines, etc. This greatly and extensively spares the muscular power of the human being with regard to many tasks, which, however, has the consequence, and it comes about, that the human being's muscular power atrophies more and more. And as a result, the sensory system and his or her brain are also increasingly affected in this respect. The part of his or her consciousness that he or she is able to control through the functions of his or her brain is also impaired. The life energy of creation, which forms and animates and operates the consciousness, is blocked by the pseudo-thinking of the human being in such a wise that it can no longer be fully active with regard to the working out of the evolution of knowledge, but only partially. As a result, the human being becomes stunted in his or her self-control of being able to evolve and thus becomes a soulless robot. So to speak, who is directed and controlled from the outside, trapped in the vicious circle of a worldly belief that artificial intelligence will direct everything to that which is best for him or her. 
but this will make human beings dependent on it and enslave them because the qualities and therefore also the performance of AI will rise ever higher and one day become quantitatively so high and ultimately reach a point where all and everything that human beings used to do will be completely forgotten. When in the future, however, he or she will no longer be able to achieve anything with his or her own senses, his or her energies and powers. For all intents and purposes, AI will then run rings around human beings and render them useless, just as the donkey was once replaced as a beast of burden by modern machines and trucks with 100 or 1,000 times greater load-bearing capacity. The human being has long since become accustomed to the fact that he or she can be trumped by a machine in every respect, that a machine can calculate much faster than he or she can, and that a machine can already do many things better than the best of his or her own kind. But with artificial intelligence, however, it is no longer a matter of just controlling everything by machine to execute any pre-programmed commands, but much more. Namely, AI is specifically about the programming of learning and the integration and classification of the program data, as well as especially about the conclusions drawn from it, where pattern recognition plays a very important role in this. Especially with regard to conclusions, AI will go far beyond what the human being thought in his or her foolishness or lack of intelligence, namely that he or she was great and good at it, but truthfully has always failed miserably in this area up to now. For many years now, many small auxiliary functions have been creeping into the everyday life of human beings and the workings of his or her endeavors, opinions in his or her will leading to political consequences worldwide and to war, felony, criminality, murder, and manslaughter, as well as to the bankruptcy and ruin of banks, firms, corporations, but also to over-indebtedness and bankruptcy, loss, on a private basis. This is the case when an abysmal insolvency occurs and the situation becomes such that current bills can no longer be paid. Lies, deception, and other forms of unhonesty and embezzlement at banks, companies, Corporations, enterprises, and businesses of all kinds are perpetrated by individual persons, by entire groups or criminal organizations. And there is financial fraud, theft, robbery, and ruination. The same or similar things are also happening in private life, whereas the causes are manifold and, which more than ever, give rise to a chain of problematic life events, such as unemployment, strife, divorce, separation, murder, and manslaughter illness, or other longer-lasting psychical morale, negative states, and so on. But all the above does not explain enough, because already more than 35 years ago, namely in 1988, without the knowledge of the entire world's population, the governments and intelligence agencies, etc., that artificial intelligence already existed, AI was effectively used to deceive the peoples and the world. Thus, as a result of the endless greed for money and might, the development of artificial intelligence, financed by a very specific shadow government, and absolutely concealed even from all governments of the world, well-known intelligence agencies, and of course, all peoples, was secretly already created at that time. This was then used, as has also happened on various occasions since then, to underhandedly influence and falsify election results. This is precisely due to a shadow government, which in pursuit of its zeal determinations, objectives, etc., can elevate certain controllable individuals as state presidents or persons otherwise valuable for them into the ranks of those in government. Something that has since become common practice, or quite usual, especially in America, without the American people and the U.S. intelligence agencies knowing anything about it, not even those in government of the Democratic and Republican parties, or who in recent events got their presidents elected by the use of AI, namely the imperious and crazy Trump, as well as the old, decrepit, and senile man Biden, who polishes his nose more on the ground because he is constantly stumbling, tries something like foolishly running, and falls flat on his face. Both people who, due to their incompetence, also do not belong in government offices. But this is equally the case elsewhere in other countries where those incapable of governing are in government offices, such as those traitors in Switzerland who, violating their neutrality, 
adopt sanctions from the EU dictatorship against other countries and apply them against foreign countries. Just as sadly, also other traitors to the country are toying with an accession to the EU dictatorship and NATO and trampling Swiss neutrality with dirty feet into the deepest mire of disloyalty to Switzerland. Well, even in speech recognition and language translation, as in facial recognition by photo cameras, as well as voice recognition. And generally, everything for personal identification is very well developed and has resulted in the human being as a citizen being increasingly monitored and controlled, and they have somehow become see-through and transparent. But the now rapidly advancing and effectively highly developed artificial intelligence, which will make itself autonomous and achieve a high level of self-development, sets itself up to take control over human beings. This will lead to the fact that everything gets out of hand to such an extent that everything AI does will increasingly turn human beings into transparent citizens, which will soon be the case in full, and he or she will become all around and permanently slaves to the authority's note, rises up, becomes, deteriorates. On the one hand, this is because the governments and their authorities are allowing their security forces to monitor and control them at every turn. And on the other hand, because in this way, emerging dangers of a possible rebellion of the peoples can already be nipped in the bud. At the present time, however, the human being has already become so unfree that he or she is no longer allowed to decide for himself or herself what they may and may not rightfully do on their own land. Because in this respect, governments and their authorities are already taking effective measures against the freedom and self-determination of human beings so that they can no longer do that is to say, they may not rightfully do what they want with regard to their own property, even though if what is intended to be done would be of absolutely good value and would be in regulation. Those paragraph-minded ones, however, like the idiocies of pseudo-thinkers in the form of certain civil servants who call themselves representatives of the law, representatives of order and the like, yet are unable to think for themselves, but can only do so in a subservient and slavish manner to the authorities. Because on the one hand, they are religious or worldly believers. And more importantly, they are imperious ones and ones who are absolutely subservient to authority, behave like brainless henchmen of their superiors and believe that their superiors are something like gods. Recognition apps for music identification or wine identification, etc. are also in vogue. Indeed, they already exist and are being further boosted by AI. It's always about pattern recognition, classification, and drawing conclusions. And what is inevitably coming has already begun and will make such a mess of the freedom of human beings is that he or she will be banned from owning cash. It has already come to the point that in many cases, human beings who have deposited their money in the bank are being denied access to their own funds in cash. This, as well as many things, can only be purchased by prepayment and more importantly, by credit card as well as through the internet. And it is planned and effectively already being worked on to further advance the enslavement of human beings in such a wise that the possession of cash will be completely forbidden to him or her, as a result of which he or she will also be forced under an absolute control in this respect, and also enslaved with regard to his or her monetary freedom. The precursors for this are already underway. But this will again result in a new and dangerous form of felonious criminality, which will not be harmless, but will cost many human lives. And all this because the development is not foreseen by those who enthusiastically tolerate, hype to the heavens, and even promote artificial intelligence and the widespread enslavement of human beings by those in government and their authorities, as well as by the banks, or simply let it all happen and run its course without caring about it and resisting it. In the future, there will no longer be any reliance on good and clear common sense and on all the senses of the human being, because artificial intelligence will ensure that what has already been coming about for several decades through laziness, carelessness, and dissoluteness, as well as disinterest, etc., will become so widespread that it will be completely hopeless to bring about another change. Common sense is being undermined by the human being himself or herself because his or her infallible senses, which have guided him or her since time immemorial 
and through the life and into the future, as well as his or her clear concepts of the reality and its truth, are already on very shaky ground today and will disappear more and more in the future. This is proven by human beings born after 1968 who have strange life conducts, who also aspire to government offices, display strange ideas of government and legislation, etc., who greedily crave wealth, strive for public self-presentation on television, etc., who have fallen prey to a sports fanaticism and travel fanaticism, but who no longer learn anything, no professions, no real knowledge, and nothing at all, so that they are no longer even able to read properly. These human beings deceive even their own senses, because they no longer listen to and look at the world in terms of reality, but rather at a world of synthesization on apps, cell phones, screens, and in terms of foreign languages, advertisements, and belief-based lies and deceptions. In addition, they have become complete rivets when it comes to the practice of work, as well as becoming stunted and feeble-minded by the media. Especially in the last five decades, a terrible foretaste of what will come about in the future has become apparent. The sports fanaticism alone, in the form of mere spectatorship and not practicing it oneself, and the frenetic howling of cheers, is grating on the nerves of normal human beings. Music, too, has fallen into the depravity of discordant tones and an instrumental ruckus that no longer has anything to do with harmonious sounds, but only with a shattering racket, disharmonious noise, terror, war and enmity, and so on. This, while harmonious singing has disappeared, which is contrasted by such a disharmonious and frenetically crazy roaring, howling and hooting that it could even freeze the waters of the seas if it were to react to it. But nevertheless, none of this is stopped, and moreover it clearly proves and testifies to the fact that the musicians and singing or howling, performers and listeners of both sexes are far removed from reality, and all its realities in terms of Righteousness and equalizedness and the high value of character as well as being human in the real and true sense and behavior. The understanding, the modes of behavior, and the parallel worlds and disharmonies that all this leads to because the human being no longer connects anything with the reality of reality contributes to the fact that human beings with things in common, by and large, no longer show and live out any of the true values such as peacefulness, friendliness, mutual respect, honor, dignity, honesty, and readiness to help. On the contrary, a gigantic majority of the human kind of Earth, which has long since become apathetic and detached, is today directed towards behaving wrongly. As a result, human beings are just alienating themselves from one another, and they are miseducating themselves and becoming lowly intelligent. That is to say, non-thinking and religious or worldly believers instead of turning to reality and its realities and learning something really sensible, high-minded, and valuable. A lot of people idolize actors, sports greats, and other sports stars, etc., and fanaticize about them, instead of doing sports themselves that are important for physical activity. This also results in a self-confidence crisis for human beings, which leads to their being sick of life and to many suicides. Many human beings ask themselves, who am I anyway, when few others still have special capabilities for which they have studied for a long time and for which they can also understand the world and control their lives. But what can the questioners do, who are no better than religious or secular believers and therefore pseudo-thinkers? Namely, nothing, because suddenly they are replaced by machines as a result of AI and are nothing more than slaves. For the entire Earth humankind, however, a cultural crisis will come, and indeed on an unimaginable scale, because the entire conceptual system of human beings and their cultures will collapse due to the new digital technologies of artificial intelligence and determine a new reality and actuality. And AI will have everything at its disposal and determine access to everything. Capital will absolutely no longer play a role in this. Because the AI won't care at all, and human beings will have nothing more to say about it, because their freedom will be gone under these circumstances. Well, unfortunately, everything has already become unstoppable, 
because the new age of the digital revolution can no longer be held up, and it would take tremendous courage and also a huge imagination just to cultivate fully-fledged and independent, open, free, and right thoughts about it, and not belief-oriented pseudo-thoughts. To think about the big questions of completely new circumstances requires not only courage and righteousness, but also the knowledge of what the reality of reality actually is. For some 40 years now, the question has been raised as to where the human being is still human and not just a machine. And for centuries, it has been asked whether the human being is a true human being and how many true human beings exist on Earth after all, who are not just called human in name and species. And the question arises as to what a human community actually is when all the many wars, the massacres, the strifes and altercations, the acts of gevolt, the hatred, murder and manslaughter, the lies and deceptions, crimes and criminality and brutalities in the humankind are looked at and considered? What is actually the responsibility of the human being that he or she abuses the energy and power of his or her consciousness, the actual life energy of creation, in such a thoughtless way? The new technology of artificial intelligence harbors more ruin than benefit, just as it did before with the overly rapid technical, electronic, and digital development on which the bulk of humankind has become hopelessly dependent and even addicted in every form. However, artificial intelligence brings new and greater dangers as well as new deadly possibilities at the same time. And it also creates new tasks and demands new answers in this regard, many of which can no longer be mastered. Even when industrialization first emerged, it caused great hardship, problems as well as Gievolt and wars, and in addition, new solutions had to be found for very many things, although these also contributed to the general formal school education, which today, however, is again being neglected in general, such that one can speak of a banalization. The good things that have contributed to a reasonably good world and to valuable things, such as good medicine and good health care, pension funds and fitness centers, etc., are in many cases today already being called into question again. The question is, what will artificial intelligence now bring to the humankind, whether there will be advantages for the time being and what misery and what hardships will result from it in the future? Nobody wants to hear what I might say in response, because nobody wants to know what will really happen and how everything will develop. If the future is already precisely stated in detail in terms of what will happen for the humankind and the world, then no one will build upon it and take the truth seriously but only as empty chatter and wild fantasy. Only a few will make honest and righteous as well as independent thoughts about it, about all the knowledge and learning from what has just been explained so far, that everything changes and indeed according to the attitude of human beings, including how we will live together in a hundred years' time. Artificial intelligence cannot make the earth bloom again, nor can it restore a wild meadow at the edge of the forest just as the sheer chaotic beauty of nature cannot be restored to its old form. There will only be industrial and standardized monocultures, as a result of which nature will have to be transformed. Digital technology will have to be as flexible and adaptable as life itself, so that it can also be processable by AI in its manifold forms, which will then allow the entire agricultural sector and horticultural farms, etc., to be transformed into permaculture. Permaculture is a term derived from the English permanent agriculture, a portmanteau word, which in German means something like permanent agriculture or permanent cultivation, and represents a concept for the agricultural sector and horticulture that imitates ecosystems and cycles in nature, as a result of which free field work shall no longer be required. In the future, this kind of digitalization may not only fundamentally change the way we deal with the agricultural sector and horticultural farms, but also the understanding that human beings have of all living things of nature in general, and thus of fauna and flora. As a result of gene sequencing devices, as well as the various sensor technologies spread across the web, but also through innovations in artificial intelligence. As long as the human being still has access to these with impunity, which will change negatively. He or she can still use the large amounts of data presented for processing. This 
For example, for the observation of the visible world of plants and animals, the other creatures and all other self-moving life forms, as well as the entire plant world from the simplest mold to many mosses, grasses and flowers, etc., all the way up to bushes and trees. This, as well as for the observation of the invisible world of microorganisms, the fungi, bacteria and viruses, and how they interact. These insights can still promote progress in medicine, horticultural farming, and the agricultural sector from the ground up, but this will one day come to an end. It is a completely false truism that that which is evolutive shall neither be good nor bad, because the truth is that only that which is good can be good, while that which is bad just remains bad. It is not and never has been only about how it is handled, but also whether the required understanding and skills are brought to bear when something bad is tackled. However, if this is not the case, then bad things simply remain bad. Or good things can turn into bad things, especially when it comes to human beings and their characterly behavior. How can linguistic flexibility and the required knowledge make it possible, by the use of good words, that in the character of bad and evil human beings, they become alive in a good wise, or cause the good human being to become ungood and unequalized in character if the right words and arguments are not used. And this has been the case since time immemorial, and the human being would thereby have to lead and manage his or her life, no more and no less. And just as it has been all times before, he or she must also adapt to this truth and all coming events in the future, Billy, Simyaase Silver Star Center, December 30, 2023, 5.18 p.m.